What's up, YouTube? We're going to Hell's Gates. Smile, couch. Hey. And we got Cam. Woo! We got Cam, too. Hey, Cam. Hey. We're going to Hell's Gates. Um, probably going to die. It's all good, though. It's all good. What's up guys? How y'all f doing today? We are finally here. We are in Hell's Gate and I am here with a special guest today. Come on out, sir. Our good friend Jared with me today. Howdy. I forced him against his will and we're going to explore and probably die in Hell's Gate tonight. So yeah, it's going to be a good time. Good time. Let's get into it. Hi guys, so uh, right now I just found a website of an article about Hell's Gate and Jared's going to read it off and uh, give some research on what we're going to hopefully encounter when we go there. So, here we go. Yeah. So it says, rumor has it that there were seven gates to hell located throughout the countryside around the Wabash Valley. There's two legends, but the main one was about Hell's Gate was that there was a train that derailed on top of the gate <laughs> <laughs> the passengers were killed and sent straight to hell don't know why don't know how damn yeah but you're supposed to come to hell's gate at night for the paranormal activity to appear and just what we're doing yeah and the uh, rumor has it that there's a guard that watches over hell's gate for like like all the time and he like stands to... on like on top of the tunnel right yeah. and you're supposed to see him okay yeah See, I think you should pull your car. Jesus, dude. I'm serious. You ready, Jet? I'm not. What? Dude. I wonder if that's the year it was made. Maybe, like 1906. That was the year, like, the bridge was first built or something. Dude, this is so, like, eerie. Alright guys, so we just saw a car and dipped immediately because we have no idea why they would be there. I mean, it's like almost 11 o'clock on a Friday night, so maybe they're just there exploring too. Let's chill for, out for a little bit, maybe like five minutes or so, and then head back when the coast is clear. Okay guys, so on our way out, as we were leaving, when we saw that car, it was about like a mile out. Uh, we saw what we thought was a house burnt down. We're going back now to make sure. And if it is, we're gonna have to call the cops or do something like, cause that's uh, literally, it's a burnt down house. Like we just saw it. There's, it's like at the very end of it, there's still a little bit of flames on it. Like it was, it was a very new fire. So we have to check and make sure that it was uh, actually a house, and if so, then we gotta call the cops on it. It's like a, no, it's like a trailer. It's a trailer, dude. 
and it's burnt to the ground. Look, it, it's like it's like a boat trailer. Do you not see that right there? I think it's just a big pile of trash. I think it's a big pile of trash, dude. I really think that's a boat trailer right there. Or it's a trailer home. Could be, yes. No, it definitely is. Look at the frame of it. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like pointed like a boat. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Do we, can we all agree? Guys, I don't know if you can see it. There's literally a train that just went above us. It just scared the hell out of us. There's a train that's going above it. So the train tracks are still like, they're still in use. Yeah, the trains are still going above it all the time, apparently. Wow, that's horrifying, dude. Dude, I thought something was like zooming. Same. Like, oh my God. I was so scared the about that. Ghost train. Yeah. I dude, know what if that's? Use. Yeah, dude, what if that's like, it's like a replica of like the ghost train? Yeah. That Holy or what if that's like? Look, it's it's a it's a person train. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like it's not a crate train at all. There's lights. It's a passenger train. Dude, what if this is like how you wake up the spirits? Okay, guys. Fuck. All right, here we go. We're gonna do it. Um, all right, so we gotta turn the lights off on on and off three times, then we're supposed to see a guard after 10 minutes standing up on top of that tunnel. So here we go. One. Two. Three. Turn my brights on so you guys can see. Is there anything? I know we gotta wait, but I wanna see if there's anything. Should I go forward a little more? No, you wanna go see up top. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom out so they can see. Should we drive through? Alright guys, here's trying to flash it over there. Alright, well don't leave me in It just goes on for so long. Look at the, the amount of like, is it deep? Do you think we can? I don't know. I want to see if we can be able to bring the car in here. Yeah, I want to try. We, we will?
So, we're back. Do you want to start, or do you want me to start? Yeah, so, this little uh, time fill, we left at what, 7 o'clock? Uh, yeah, I think so. 7? Mm -hmm. It was like around 7 or 8. It was about a 3 hour drive to get yeah, there. It's currently 4.10 in the morning. Awesome. And we just got back, so. <laughs> we're pretty exhausted, but um, yeah, when we were there, Nothing. We didn't really like see anything or like hear anything paranormal. I don't think. No. Uh, I think one of the scariest things that happened though was that train that passed through. Yeah, out of and nowhere. it was it was a passenger carrier for sure. And he looked it up and he said like he couldn't find any like passenger carriers around that were like that were like still like still in use. Yeah, you know? I don't even know if the railroad's still in use. Yeah. So like that was like the big thing. Because so that was just, I think that was one of the scariest points was that train that went by and we didn't hear it. Yeah, the weirdest thing about it was we didn't hear it until it was like... It was like, like right seconds, like, like right when it hit like above the tunnel is when yeah. we heard it and it scared the yeah, Just weird because trains are loud as shit. Yeah, and you can hear them like, like miles away, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Not to say there was anything paranormal because there was obviously a, a train yeah, there, man. but... I don't know, weird. We'll definitely be doing some more exploring videos. We got a little uh, sneak peek of the, the next trip. Is that our next trip? Yeah. We did a little research on our way back from Hell's Gate, and we saw that there's a bridge called Edna Collins in Putnam, Indiana. Uh, it was seven miles from Hell's Gate. Like, it was so close to us. About, like, a 20-minute drive. We couldn't resist. Yeah, so we actually uh, headed towards there, and we'll show you a little clip of what we have. Sneak peek of uh, what we do next video. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys want to see that. 15 likes. 15 likes? 15. 15 likes. <laughs> and 25 likes, I'll bring a Ouija board.